Before anything, I want to say I'm not going to read out the full Reddit post. I'm just going to go over the points I think that are relevant. I'm going to start with the concept of a nerf itself. I think nerfing an IM 18 months down the line is a very bad idea and is very boring for the player base. The kills are now slower, and the time and effort spent learning how to use the fracture this away now isn't as valuable. Specifically to the fracture this away being expensive, you grind to get this item and now are outclassed by a bog that has billions of mod GP to obtain. I also feel like this change will divide the lower tier PVMers from the higher tier PVMers due to the skill flaw of PVM now been lowered. I believe this from my personal experience with the G-Rico now. Due to a lot of people in the high level community forming into close communities trying to chase the smoothness and consistency of the old G-Rico. This is super important for me because I truly believe the Fracture This Away was one of the best items to be released for PVM in a weird way. The hiring of this skill flow is amazing. You got so many people to try out PVM for the first time and truly enjoy it, while also building the community and making new friends. I've been a part of the PVM community for many years now, and I'm sure others that were in the community before the Fracture This Away can attest to this, that I've never seen such an explosion in the size of the PVM community due to a single item. And now I'm scared we're going to lose that with the meta being handed over to range, with a lot of people struggling with the difficulty of the bog, uh, difficulty of using the bog correctly. And for other people who know me, they may find it surprising that I'm saying that. Considering they know that I love tryharding and runescape and want as many things as possible to do to get an edge out of other players. Now, say most people will throw me in the category of an elitist PVMer. However, I'm going to overcome my own biases, because now with the Fractious Way been out for so long, I've realised my own PVM ego is less important than having as many people as possible getting into PVM and enjoying it. Moving on, I also do think Jagex and certain people understand how much of a nerf this actually is. Let alone the straight up damage reduction from lower damage on procs and not having recursive crit chains, there are other things that lowers its power. First of all, tying into no recurse of crit chains, you have less adrenaline to spend on average, taking away from the fracture this away's improvisation. Also, tying into less adrenaline is not even autos. These autos gave you adrenaline been 2.8% for every auto even big, and this is a very big deal. Just on tendrils alone, you're going minus 11.2% adrenaline minimum, as an example. Another point, building ruby stacks will now basically only be reserved for those who can fortig and been a very unintuitive game mechanic. Also, now with the meta of a lot of these bosses been to place dummies under the boss, Barrage, so Barrage can hit multiple targets for Mori Dren, and this will no longer exist. Another thing about this that scares me is the direction JX takes when it comes to nerf. They seem to keep on doing nerfs that don't fix the issues they are trying to address in a nice way, they just seem to make the content feel terrible to use. The example I'm going to use is uh, Jiriko and Incend. Starting with Jiriko, this nerf is probably one of the worst changes I've ever seen in PVM. In improved Jagex has no idea what makes something strong. They nerfed a basic which was the core of range style working on a high level, but they felt it was too strong for their time so they nerfed it. Even though the Fracture This Away was already in the game, and Mage would have been better than it if it was in the state after all the, the reworks to get out all the bugs. And then they proceed to make Mage even stronger while not reverting the G-Rico nerf and just leave range in the dirt for no reason. Uh, moving on to Incend, I'm not going to go over this too much because Pop has a very good video on it, which I'll I'll link in the description. But how many times can JX keep a track record of terrible nerfs to things that have been in the game for years, while simultaneously not having the foresight for six months into the future, while we're still meant to trust their judgement? I really hate the way the game is going after many years of playing it, and I'm most likely going to quit with a fracture this way update. I really wish the J mods would listen to people that also share these opinions and take it into account, but it isn't going to happen. It's Jagex, I'm going to be realistic, and I'm going to just wish the game all the best.